Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Abi Walibni Warohil Kudus Al Ilahul Wahid demi nama Bapa, Putra dan Rohul Kudus ketiganya yang esa. Shalom sahabat yang dikasih oleh Tuhan berjumpa kembali dengan saya di channel ini. Terima kasih buat teman-teman yang selalu setia mendukung perkembangan channel ini dengan cara subscribe, like, komen dan share. Tuhan memberkati kita. Sobat yang dikasih oleh Tuhan kali ini kita akan membahas apa yang disampaikan oleh seorang cendikiawan Muslim dan menurut saya ini bisa menjadi perhatian uh, berbagai macam kalangan. Bahwa tentu ada banyak orang yang justru memanfaatkan agama atau yang berhubungan dengan kitab suci untuk mencapai keinginan-keinginan mereka Sahabat yang dikasih oleh Tuhan mungkin teman-teman akan kaget dan juga uh, sedikit miris melihat kenyataan released evidence of Hamas use of Shifa hospital to shield its terror complex and Hamas uses the Qatari hospital for terror as well. Today we will also release evidence that the Indonesian hospital is being used by Hamas to hide the underground command and control center. This is an Indonesian hospital. This picture was taken in 2023. You can see the hospital structures in south of the uh, of the roundabout of both sides of the road the hospital is located in northern gaza between jebalia and bet hanun the construction of the hospital was funded by several ngos from indonesia i will show you the reason why they built the hospital there <coughs> this picture here was taken in 20 in, in 2010 when the hospital was under construction Take a look here at the area in red. They were Hamas terror outposts. Unsurprisingly, Hamas built a hospital on top of their terror infrastructures. Those outputs of Hamas had underground facilities before they started to construct the hospital, the Indonesian hospital. There are there are three important areas to point out. The first area is the collection of cement materials here. You can see here arches. These arches are very, very unique. It's a unique structure. It's only used for underground terror facilities for Hamas. These cement arches are not needed when building hospitals. They are used to build underground city of terror an underground metro of tunnels. We have watched Hamas use these arches to build tunnels for many years. Instead of building homes for Gazans, he built this metro over hundreds of kilometers underneath Gazas and underneath places like hospitals and mosques. They are building under underground terror infrastructures for Hamas. Here you can see the entrance to an underground tunnel, Hamas used this tunnel to access their command and control complex under the hospital. This is all satellite and of course all these images and intelligence and more was shared with other agencies to confirm what I'm showing you now. Now let's, took, let, let's take a look at the hospital in 2020. You can see that the cement materials, including the arches, are no longer above the ground. Done. It's all underneath the ground. This is a satellite image of the hospital complex taken after the massacre of 7th of October. I'm going to zoom in on the area here. Okay? Across the street. Only 75 meters, 80 meters, to the hospital. Here, the IDF identified a launch, a launch pad, meaning they launch rockets from here. I want to repeat it. They launch rockets on Israel 75 meters from an hospital. Why? They know precisely that if Israel will airstrike a launch pad like that, the hospital would be damaged. And this was part, of course, of the outpost before in 2010. This architecture of underground facility, including launch pads. Here you see layer by layer how Hamas systematically built 
the Indonesian hospital to disguise its underground terror infrastructure. And we see that they use the area around the hospital as a base of, for terror against Israel today. Now I want to reveal evidence that Hamas steals fuel from the Indonesian hospital. Next, we will listen to a phone call from November 2nd with an official closely affiliated to Hamas terror organization. Let's listen. <laughs> others can be authenticized and verified by other agencies that we send them more materials that I cannot reveal here. The agency of the United States and the United Kingdom will verify these materials. This call intercept that we intercepted reveals a few things. While Hamas screamed to the world about the lack of fuel, there is no shortage of fuel in Gaza. Hamas has the fuel. It's in the hands of Hamas. The leadership and the member of Hamas are lying. Hamas has fuel. Hamas stores this fuel underneath hospitals in Gaza, the very hospital that Hamas tells the world's running out of fuel. I will now share one last audio recording with you that we intercepted. Hamas... Hamas moves fuel from the hospital to terrorists, okay, in Jebalia, meaning moving it from Shifa to Jebalia, from Shifa, from Shifa hospital to Jebalia, the same Jebalia that Ibrahim Beyari, the murderous commander, was killed. They move fuel to Jebalia because Jebalia is a terror center. They steal the fuel from the hospital, the fuel terror infrastructure. Finally, I want you to see Hamas in their own words. <laughs> نحن شيدنا الأنفاق لأنه لا نملك ما ندفع به عن أنفسنا من القتل والاستهداف هذه الأنفاق من أجل أن نحمي أنفسنا من الطائرات نحن مقاتلين من الأنفاق أما, أما القطاع غزة فأنت تعلم والجميع يعلم لأنه 75% منه لاجئين واللاجئين هو مسؤولية الأمم المتحدة في حمايتهم مسؤولية الاحتلال في أن يقدم كل تبعا لاتفاقية جنيف الدولية أن يقدم لهم كل الخدمات وهم تحت الاحتلال This is Abu Marzouk just from the 27th of October Human shields are a key pillar of Hamas terror operators operations Hamas systematically exploits hospital as a key part of its war machine 
This is the murderous organization we are dealing with. Hamas doesn't even try to hide it. They say it out loud and it's loud and clear. Here is Hamas leader Abu Marzouk a few days ago on TV interview confirming that Hamas builds tunnels in hundreds of kilometers to protect its terrorists. Who's above? The innocent civilians are above. But more than that, he admits that Hamas is not responsible for the civilians in Gaza. It's the world's problem, they say. They don't even hide the logic of using human shields as a part of their terror and war machine. Hamas is hiding behind hospitals. Hamas is sickly exploiting hospitals to disguise its war machine. Our war is with Hamas, not with the civilians of Gaza. We will not accept Hamas cynical use of hospital to hide their terror infrastructure. I want to repeat, we will not accept Hamas's cynical use of hospitals to hide their terror infrastructures. Hamas exploitation of hospital must come to an end. Baik saudara-saudara yang dikasih oleh Tuhan, kita sudah menyimak apa yang disampaikan dalam video tersebut. Semoga melalui informasi tersebut kita sebagai bangsa Indonesia belajar bersama dari berbagai macam fakta dan data mengenai apa yang terjadi antara Israel dan juga uh, Palestina. Saudara, informasi itu sangat jelas, fakta itu sangat jelas, bahkan dapat digambarkan begitu rupa. Oke, mari sebagai bangsa Indonesia yang memiliki beragam agama dan keyakinan dan juga budaya bertindak arif, bertindak baik, bertindak uh, menghargai Anda boleh mendukung satu bagian kelompok tetapi bukan berarti Anda menyiadakan bahkan semena-mena juga menuduh orang lain begitu ya maksudnya gimana? Anda yang mendukung Palestina, Anda yang mendukung Israel, Anda yang mendukung ABCD, itu sebenarnya uh, biasa saja. Tetapi jangan sampai karena perbedaan itu Anda juga melukai sesama Anda di tanah air ini. Semoga tidak cerdaskan teman-teman, semoga informasi bermanfaat. Jangan lupa untuk mendukung dengan cara subscribe, like, komen, dan share. Tuhan memberkati kita. Bye-bye.